essential. Essential. Yeah. Am I taller than you? It would appear so. Yeah, my new cup. Maybe we tried to stay in the back of it. Well, I'm shrinking in my old age. I do slap. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined with Mum. Hello. We are film. No. Yeah, we are baking. No, we're filming a baking video. I was going to say we're baking a filming video. <laughs> well, that was smooth. Yeah, we're going to bake a Victoria sponge. It's an emergency cake because I me meant to buy one because we've just moved house. We've not got a lot of time. I usually bake. Was going to buy a cake. Not much time. Forgot baking anyway. So we're going to bake a Victoria sponge. Let's get into the video without much further ado. <laughs> Step number one: we're going to mix together the butter and the sugar. Butter and sugar. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Mum wanted to show you the butter. <laughs> that We've sounds got... really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Three different types. This one, yeah, baking block that I've got. That sounds really appealing, doesn't it? Yeah, it says baking block. Block. And then Flora. Yeah. Just because um, she hasn't got enough of one. So. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So let's find an appropriate fill. Mum's got some brand new scales. We've gone traditional. I'm not a big fan of the electronic scales, if I'm honest. So. Oh, I like electric scales. These are guaranteed for 15 years, and I don't think you'll get that with electric scales. Plus, their batteries are always run out just at the most inopportune moments. So, uh, ah, true. none of that with this, baby. There, that's 200 grams. So, it's 200 grams of that, 200 grams of fat, 200 grams of flour. And we'll go for four eggs, I feel. And I like putting almond extract in, actually, because that makes the sponge... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got Dylan. Yeah, don't do that. He's allergic God to nuts. damn it, he's allergic to nuts. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> boy just gets in the way. <laughs> See, I don't think I've got any vanilla extract. Never mind. But we are using proper butter, so that will get a nice buttery. Buttery, flaky crust. Oh, gosh, that's quite firm. That's not going to beat in very well. That bit is... Will be beautiful with this rock hard. As you can tell, Mum's the presenter of the cooking show. Nice. There we go. That's I'm not bothered with the baking rock because it really is rock hard. So there we go, 200. I actually made a sponge last week, which is here, and I didn't have any scales. So uh, I did it by guesswork, it actually came out really well. You kind of, because I've made enough over the years to get mm. my sight, really. But we've got people around and we've got my coffee up, so. These are crumbs, by the way, from bread, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, from toast. It's perfectly edible. Fresh this morning. This is going everywhere. <laughs> right, are you going to beat the living daylights this out of this, or shall I? I I'll mix. Yeah. Do you, what spoon would you like? Because you normally beat, I like a metal spoon. You like a metal spoon, whereas I would beat with a wooden. I like metal. Get me the sugar. Whilst you do that. I'll just have a search for um, some vanilla extract. But I don't think I've got any. 200 what? grams of flour. Yeah, and this is self-raising flour, I was, of course. I was going to try a message. Yeah, I don't tend to... Um, Use any baking powder when you're self raising well, flour. So I don't think it's oh. necessary. Hello. Hello. Do you like my egg holder? Mum's egg holder. Isn't that cutchy? Take all four of those. Thank you. Thank you very much, very kindly. Thank you. I need to get some more eggs from the egg shack tomorrow. That's just up the road. The eggs are really nice and fresh. I bet they're in the supermarket. Right, do you want me to put these in? Yeah. Just reminiscing about that time when uh, you thought filming. Yeah. About the time Georgie was making a similar cake and she cracked an egg. God knows what year that had been born. It was as black as night and it stank the house out for about five days. <laughs> God, it was awful. It nearly caught me off eggs for life. I never smelled anything so bad. Apart from Abby and her nappy when she was a baby. <laughs> Which we still talk about now. <laughs> we do. That's a little close. There she goes. 
there she goes again. Like mum's a backing track. Consider I don't like singing in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Jordy, showing it who's boss. Got to make sure it's all mixed. Yeah. Get it nice and airy. It's got a nice pale colour as well, isn't it? Damn it, it's on my leg. Oh no, that's not going to feel it's very all good. It's only a little bit. Do you want to put it? In? I've got a compost pile going over there, if you don't mind. I think. Yeah. We'll just to stop it curdling, yurdling. Film this and then we'll just leave it off for a bit whilst we finish. Mum, have you shaken the camera shake? Oh yeah, sorry, it's just like, I, I've, got, I've got music in my head. <laughs> what have you got? I've got that um, Valerie song in my head, but it's, it, I changed it to Calorie, didn't I? Oh yeah. Calorie, <laughs> Calorie, Calorie, Calorie. I must stop. We're just saying how many calories are in cake. <laughs> yeah, a lot. See you when it's done. See you, pal. Yeah. I'll just continue doing this then, yeah. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> it's July. To be fair, I did a workout this morning to Christmas song. You often burst into jingle bells, don't you? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What fun is to roll my house open sleigh. Hey! The cake batter is basically Ooh. made. It's very nice and light and airy. Looks beautiful texture actually, it's really good. So we're just dealing with the um, lining of the cake tins. So I've sat the tin on top of the uh, baking parchment and I'm just gonna cut it out. You just bear with me a moment. I need to obtain some silver. I find it so tedious because it's all part and parcel of the baking book. Oh, Dad and Tommy are outside. Dad's uh, strimming the lawn. Tommy's playing football with himself, I think. It's uh, a little bit hot for these sort of activities because it is 29, 28, 29 degrees today. Oh, I think Tommy's playing with Dylan. Oh, okay. Well, he's throwing the ball and somehow it's getting back to him, so. All right. I'm sure with Dylan over that wherever Tommy is, Bill will not be far away. Right, okay, we need to portion up equally. Would you care to do this, madam? I care to try. This is when I would get them on the scale so I know they're equal. Oh gosh. Can't be bothered with that. A bit of a kerfuffle. Yeah, but my scales are digital so it's easier. Can you imagine if we put, got accidentally got some of this garlic butter in there as well? Yeah. Probably. I wonder if anyone has actually made a savoury cake with like a cheesy filling in the middle or something. Oh yeah. Like in the style of a cake with a filling in the middle and then a topping. Yeah, Nadia Hussein made, um, just apologise for the background noise. Uh, she made chicken donuts, I reckon. Ah. Yeah. Do you have a uh, spatula? Always. Do you want to put them in the oven? Yep. In it goes. I always keep a pizza stone in the oven. Why? So it starts to cook from underneath as well as um. on the top, but no, it's just somewhere to put it. <laughs> but yeah, we often make pizzas, so. See you in 20 minutes. <laughs> We're testing the cakes to see if they're ready. I think that definitely needs. That was just to be fair, the knife's coming out clean, but. No! Oh, just diverting. I have a pet spider and he's called Seth. Uh, yes, it is. And. Uh, I'm fed him. Uh, <laughs> what? Um, I got that on film. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this looks quite pale. For a cake, oh, it's it's anyway. Yeah, but I have been beating it. Well Remember? Yeah, but it usually browns up a bit more. Do you know what? I'm it's happy done. with that. I'm going to leave it, yeah. Right. yeah. I'll get the other one and see if I can burn my arm again. Right. Oh, so. Yeah, that smells good. So that wants to cool completely. There we go. They're out. Got to film them out. <laughs> Time for jam. Yeah, just quick run around the edges. Loosen. Comes out beautifully. 
There we go. Smashing. We're jamming. I think we've got plenty of jam in here, actually. Shall I spread that out? Yeah. And see where we're at, because I've got a little bit more in there, because it's not a full jar. Hmm. We don't want one of those instances where we cut into the cake and the jam just squelches everywhere. No. Because we've overdone it. I think that's about right, do you? Yeah. Ta-da! Ta -da. Ta -da. We're putting the icing. We are now going to be icing the cake with icing sugar. I love this bit. Oh, look how pretty it makes it straight away. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of breeze, it's blowing it away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Thought I'd show it outside. This is the finished cake. This is the Victoria sponge next to the lake. And mum. Shut up. Okay, I'll end the video here. We have finished baking now. Here yeah. is the finished result. That didn't feel like hard work. That was a fairly quick job, no. really, wasn't it? Um, we would slice it up, but we're actually going to be eating it later we'll on. Later so I'm afraid on, yeah. you can't see that. Um, but thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, see you on Monday for weekly vlog number two. Okay, and I'm now going to crack open the red wine. Where are they all? They're sat out. We had the cake last night. Obviously not just me, myself. There was loads of people here. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I thought I would just show you. So yeah, this is the next day, but this is what it looks like.